Here we're asked to graph the exponential e to the x plus 1 minus 1. Now in this beginning section, we're going to graph this by plotting points. Okay, the x value here is the independent variable, and the y, or g of x value, is the dependent variable. So let's choose some x values here. I'm going to choose some negative values, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. Certainly you can choose more if you want. And then we're going to find the corresponding y values by evaluating, okay? So g of negative 3, in this case, would be e to the negative 3 plus 1 power uh, minus 1. So e to the negative 2 power, that's negative 3 plus 1, minus 1. That's like 1 over e squared minus 1. So on a calculator, that's approximately equal to uh, negative 0.86. Okay, so there's one ordered pair. Now let's go ahead and substitute in the rest of the values and see what we get. Okay, here I've done that. I've substituted in the x values and found the appropriate y values. Now I have five points to plot on a Cartesian coordinate system. Let's go ahead and, and do that now. Here let's remember that we are trying to graph the exponential g of x equals e to the x plus 1 minus 1. Okay, we have five points to plot. Let's go ahead and plot them. Negative 3 comma negative 0.86. It doesn't have to be perfect. Negative 2 comma negative 0.63. Uh, negative 1 comma 0, there's our x-intercept. 0 comma 1.72. And then 1 comma 6, which is off the scale. So you can see the exponential growth here. Now let's try to determine the y, or the um, horizontal asymptote. So let's look at our original here. When I plug in, say, negative 5, you can see I'll, hear, I'll have here e to the negative 4 power, which is 1 over e to the 4th. That's a very small number. So you're going to have a very small number minus 1. Okay, this here is going to tend towards 0. That's telling me the horizontal asymptote is tending towards negative 1. So let's draw that in, y equals negative 1, with a dotted line. All right, that's my horizontal asymptote. So with that drawn in, you can see the rough shape of the graph a little better. So let's go ahead and connect the dots. When you connect the dots, be sure to indicate the fact that it is a, an asymptote. So it's going to be asymptote. It's going to get infinitely close to this line, y equals negative 1. And then it's going to grow like that. So here's the intercepts. And that's a rough sketch of e to the x plus 1 minus 1 by plotting points. Notice another way to look at it is to graph e to the x plus 1 and then shift the whole graph down one unit. Okay, we'll get to the transformations later in the course.